So what I realized is that if I just started packaging that instruction, the worked example, I could deliver the same content, but allow students to kind of first, if I you know, made videos, posted it on something like YouTube, I was putting out the same content, but students could now kind of watch it at their own pace and in kind of privacy of, of being able to go as slow as they need to without the kind of social um, hangups of, of being considered different. Mm. Um, so that was really the kind of the first step of, of you know, I, I kind of did all of this and then I told an older colleague in languages what I was doing and he said, well, that's called flipping the classroom. Mm. I thought, okay, well, I didn't, I mean, but that's not really why. So I did, I did it without knowing that I was flipping the classroom, but then that's how it happened. And this is an important element pedagogically because I read the student course reviews, the evaluations, and what struck me, and there were about 50-something students in the class the first time he flipped it, and what was striking about it was students' comments, um, to Susan's point, about uh, difficult subject matter. Students themselves said, if you sit in this class and you miss something, you have it in your notes, you might have it, you have to go and see the faculty member and figure out what happened during office hours and so forth. You have to remember those questions and ask them. When you have the lectures ahead of time, and so you can go back over and over again and listen until you understand this. And so the comments were something to the effect, finally, a faculty member who understands how we learn. The ability for students to sort of get through difficult material by looking at it over and over again and trying to figure it out on their own time. And they found that to be extremely valuable, thereby able to use the time in class or with the faculty member to do specific work on a project. This is a pedagogical breakthrough in many ways because it's counterintuitive to what we like to think about as a Middlebury education, one-on-one -on -one with the faculty member all the time. But in this case, providing that information up front gives the student the opportunity to work at their pace and to sort of work through some of the difficulties that they personally had in the course material.